uh, what you'll see coming through uh, the Brindirwin Hills is a number of sites that are still yet to have major earthworks carried out on them, um, but we want to make sure that the travelling public have got access uh, to Northland over that Easter period. As you come through you'll see uh, either a 30 km an hour or a 50 km an hour speed restriction depending on where you are, so we really need people to observe those, they are there for everybody's safety. We've got three passing lanes, one of them will remain closed through the, the Easter period but we've made every effort to ensure that the passing lane, northbound passing lane at the top of the hill is going to remain open and we'll take the speed restriction off and it'll be 80 km an hour to give everybody a good opportunity to get past when they need to. So what we've been doing is a combination of earthworks and geotechnical uh, solutions as well. A major underslip is required, a lot of soil nails and shotcrete to go in to try and save the, the lane that was there. That was a significant effort put in by uh, some of our subcontractors to get that work done quickly. As this uh, slip behind me came down, which we've labelled B5, it's taken out the guardrail and done some significant damage to the retaining walls that are underneath the road as well. Um, so we've been busy over the last couple of weeks strengthening the timber retaining wall that you can see behind me, as well as making repairs to the, uh, the gabion wall as well. Um, and at the moment, in behind there now is the last piece of work where we can reinstall the guardrail and that will allow us to then open up, uh, open up to two lanes. But obviously up above there's a large amount of earthworks that still needs to happen. And it's just going to be too dangerous to carry out that work while the public are coming through. So there will be a time after Easter where we're going to need to close the road again so that we can get in and remove this material that is at risk of coming down. So the excavator will start from the top and as they work down, progressively remove the material at the grades that the engineers have told us and that material will be uh, placed down on the road for another excavator to come and pick it up. The volumes are up in the tens of thousands of cubes and uh, we need to uh, have the road uh, closed while we do some of those uh, solutions because it will just be too dangerous for the travelling public to come past. 